even though they dress this question up in funny units and funny language, ultimately this is a simple constant speed kind of calculation. Um, we have North America over here, something like this. And we're say we're standing on North America. And then over here we have Europe, say there's Spain and the boot and so on. And then maybe there's Britain. And basically continental drift, they don't change that much from say year to year. It kind of goes pretty constant and the speed we're given to be three centimeters per year. And they're asking how long it will take. So that's long meaning length in time. So some kind of change in time for them to drift this far apart, which is going to be your delta D. And given the speed, it's really quite simple. So we have speed is change in distance over change in time. Uh, rearranging to solve for change in time first, doing a little cross multiplying. We can get that we have 500 kilometers divided by 3 centimeters per year. Now, the units here are quite weird because we have kilometers on top and centimeters on the bottom. So to have them agree with each other, let's change the kilometers on top into centimeters. So we extend this a little bit. And again, we're multiplying by the same factor top and bottom. Let's change it to meters first because I'm more familiar with that one. One kilometer, there's a thousand meters. Cross, cross. And then we have to get rid of the meters in place of centimeters. So in one meter, there's a hundred centimeters like a hundred cents in a dollar. So that crosses out. And then in terms of the unit for the calculation, the centimeter on top here cancel the centimeter on the bottom there. And then the year being underneath and underneath, it gets flipped up on top. When you put all this in your calculator, you find that you get 1.66666 repeating times 10 to the seventh unit being year, the only thing that's left while they're only giving the incoming units as one sig figs here, rounding this up to two, it's a little aggressive in my taste. So I'm going to round it to 1.7 times 10 to the seven year. So basically 17 million years. And just to wrap this up as a way of giving you some context, what 500 kilometers mean, Basically from New York to say London, this distance right now is about 5,500 kilometers. So, so it takes 17 million years just to get a tenth of that.